Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Voices of Victory, where our students join us to share their success story. Today, I'm joined by Jishan, who is there from Jammu and Kashmir, and he has secured a place in Movit Technology. So let's hear his story from him itself. So hi Jishan, thank you for joining us today. How are you? Hi, hi Arisa, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, I'm fine, I hope you are doing good as well. Yes, thank you, I'm also doing good. You know, so many people are watching you right now and they want to hear your story and let's start from your background so that people know where you come from, what kind of education you have. Uh, I'm from Jammu and Kashmir and uh, I had done uh, my bachelor's which is B.Tech in Electronics and Communication. That was from my state itself from Baba Ghulam Shabash and then after that uh, I went on to like I went to Delhi and pursued the M.Tech there mm -hmm. M.Tech degree and, and my M.Tech degree was in electric, electrical uh, engineering and the stream was control and instrumentation systems after completing my M.Tech degree then uh, I came here to Bengaluru so that I actually was interested in networking uh, before uh, pursuing my M.Tech but due to some reasons I had to stay back at home and uh, complete my M.Tech degree then I came here in 2023 um, and uh, I got selected uh, in a company called as Concentrix so I was working as a knock engineer and uh, after doing that I, I found out like um, some skills I need to upgrade some skills in networking and security if we if I want to get place uh, in some big organizations and get some good profiles so then um, I, I thought about like searching and all I didn't actually have an idea of CCIE then I only knew about CCNA and CCNP level yeah. that uh, I had to do in networking and uh, I, I searched and uh, my friends luckily were there and uh, they actually had done some courses but from different places then I researched from my end using uh, my Google and all and then I found out uh, an institute this networkers home and uh, based on like purely the reviews and all which I uh, checked there and also the location as well because I was working in Bangalore itself so it was very easy for me uh, to go there and uh, like pursue a course as well as to do my job. So I was doing two, two things at the same time. So very, very luckily I, I will, I found myself that I, I joined the institute and luckily completed the course CCI security and then gave some interviews in some good companies and uh, luckily I got selected in Move It. That's great. But you know, there are a number of institutes in Bangalore. Why Networkers Home? There are multiple reasons. Actually, um, some of my friends have suggested to, to do the course at my hometown itself. There are some good institutes there as well. So first thing was, uh, I had to check the this location because I was working in Bangalore itself. I had to do job and I had to pursue the course as well. And the second thing was that not only the location matters. I If I'm spending some money there, a uh, good amount of money, then I had to get some output results from there in a shoot. Right. So I did some uh, research work from my end. Mm, I, I checked Google and all, basically the reviews, the comments, which I get from there. So it was completely satisfactory and uh, I didn't find any other institute close to that. That's so great. that was the reason and uh, I joined Networkers. That's great. So how was your experience coming here? It was great. Actually, I was a little bit scared when, when I first came to Institute because uh, I, I thought that I don't have that much of knowledge in networking. I was not that much proficient and all. But uh, the good thing is that uh, from the teachers, the trainers, uh, mm -hmm. they start from the basic itself. So it, you, don't, you don't need to be uh, like having a lot, and a lot of knowledge in networking domain and all. Even if you don't have the knowledge, um, so because I have seen so many of my friends which are not from uh, like tech backgrounds, okay. they are they are pursuing these courses and all. They they do very good uh, in the future and all. Like they because the teachers and all they teach from the basics. So it was very very good experience for me to to start from there. So how was your journey and experience with the trainers here? Uh, it was great uh, because uh, you don't have to be like it was not. Assign that I was not assigned a specific trainer that you have to train with that trainer and all, right? So all trainers are good, but you sometimes you find some trainers uh, that are the kind of teaching, the, the way of teaching, you find it a little bit appealing and all, right? So th that thing was very good for me because I I uh, I attended the lectures of two three trainers there. Mm -hmm. So all of the trainers are very good technically and all. That is why they are there. But uh, some of the some sometimes you feel some of the trainer that kind of uh, teaching experience and all. So uh, I we can choose our trainers from our end, whatever we feel comfortable with. And also even if 
if we want to continue if we want to like uh, do the course again attend the course again there is no limitation unlimited you can attend the course and if you have any doubts and teachers trainers management and all all are open to it so it is there is a lot of transparency and that is a very good thing to have great so could you elaborate your journey at networker song like uh, with what course you started and how did you gradually proceed yeah uh, actually uh, i came in i think uh, november no november 2023 there and uh, i didn't have any idea what to do uh, i only had an idea that i have to go to networking field but about the courses i don't have that much of idea then i went on and um, i went and meet amit sir there which is uh, already a cci security like certified so he has a lot of knowledge about this those things so he like guided me he told me that you have the experience and all so you don't need to only do like a ccna or ccmp level because you have the experience you have to do cci security to um, to get a good job good opportunity and all and good package as well so then uh, i started my ccna in december 2023 uh, from the basics itself and the ccna ccnp then uh, after ccnp we started the vpn and all cci went to the security domain mm-hmm. where we we like uh, i had completed multiple next gen firewalls apart from this we completed the basics asc ftd then forty gate palo alto and checkpoint so all not only theoretically we i had a very good lab experience as well in the institute so we had an open lab and also uh, on our personal laptops there were some lab trainers which were very helpful they will be installing the softwares and all we don't have to do those sort of things and then after that we can we can practice unlimited times even in our personal laptops and also in the servers which were provided from the institute itself that's great so apart from your technical journey how did you prepare for the interviews technical journey uh, yes i think uh, it is not only technical to be to be like selected in the interview because i attended one or two interviews and uh, i had an interview in barakoda networks where technically i was selected like uh, first round second round i got i cleared that and in the hr round uh, i found something interesting like uh, i i was not selected actually three people were selected in the hr round then i found out something like it is not only technical you have to be proficient with so you those uh, like hrs and management and all will caste so many things and all your tone how you are speaking and what's your mindset like how much time you are going to stay in the organization and all what is your previous experience and all so i worked on those skills and also on the com skills i worked a little bit on those as well because there were some lectures provided were some uh, live we can interact with the, my friends and all so to improve my communication skills as well so it was very good experience to have technically it was very good because uh, from the institute itself uh, we i got a lot of knowledge so and uh, the resources as well so technically i don't have to like uh, go outside and search for some extra materials and all everything i i thought uh, is there in the institute itself if i need anything any extra books and all they will be providing so apart from the technical aspects uh, i i attended so many mock interviews in the institute itself and also also saw those mock interview lectures in our youtube channel and networker zoom so do those mock interviews definitely helped me a lot to see where i am now here i think uh, you know you can advise the people who are watching your video about you know your hr experience like what would you advise them how should they prepare for yeah uh, about the hr experience uh, i was very confident actually because uh, once you clear the technical round in a technical like uh, sort of profile mm-hmm. you think uh, 90% 99% you are selected right. right so i didn't have that mindset that i will not be selected i was very confident in the hr round So when I attended the HR round, uh, I had some discussion, and it was normal, like uh, your native place and all, some normal questions, only 10 to 15 minutes. It was not tough. It was very easy, and I thought I will be clearing it. Yeah. But after that, I heard um, I heard the like feedback from the HR itself, and uh, I thought uh, my tone and all, he, she doesn't like that tone. Like might be it might be too high for that round because I uh, I thought I might be extra confident, like overconfident and all. Yeah. that that thing uh, i thought to, i need to correct that in order to in order to get selected so i then watched the mock intros as i told you like from the uh, from website itself and networkers zoom uh, official youtube channel and also from other like sources those mock intros i think they helped me a lot you know really great advice that you have given here now going forward what was your strategy for preparing for the interviews 
strategy first first was uh, to complete the course completely and to practice and uh, like uh, whichever portion like i completed the vpn if because i was uh, anyway going to give the interview in the security part not in the routing switching my first preference was to go to the security so uh, i had to focus a lot on the security part like those tcp uh, like uh, ipsec ssh and all oh, and um, i like uh, practiced in the lab itself so those sort of things because uh, when i watch the mock interviews of cci security if I'm, uh, if there's a tech engineer level interview so i figured out what are the sort of questions they are asking and uh, in which like uh, in which topic we are working on mostly so i figured out those are the main topics which are there like tcp and all tcp uh, ssh and all so i pre- prepared those topics uh, thoroughly apart from the basics which are always there like the routing and switching part so those sort of things uh, helped me a lot and uh, um, as as i told like the guidance from the trainers from the institute itself because uh, they have so much experience so they know how it works like even if there is a change uh, in the industry change here happens every like every 3 4 5 years right mm-hmm. so they will be aware of well aware of it how, how you need to prepare and all so they guided me also and a special thanks to them as well the trainers and so that uh, they give gave me the guidance so it was easy for me you know, to prepare for the interview any suggestions for the people who are watching your success story suggestion is simple like uh, be confident and practice on the technical skills first those are very important technical skills com skills are important but i think uh, most of the rounds if we are giving for a technical like tech and all mm-hmm. so most of the rounds will be technical two to three rounds will be technical and com skills will be there for the hr interaction and all so even if you have basic com communication skills so you can definitely clear it but technically you should be proficient you should be confident uh, and uh, you should know like what sort of questions to expect from a panel depending upon the profile i'm working on if i'm uh, working on a tech profile we should know like what are the sort of technologies we will be using those sort of questions will be asked by the panel itself they will not mostly they will ask those sort of panels questions which are which are helpful for that profile so mostly we need to figure out the jd of the uh, company where we are giving the interviews and all apart from our own practice so that will be helpful i think can you tell us about your current company and job roles the current company uh, i i'm actually right now in uh, chennai uh, i was like uh, selecting movie technologies Okay. and uh, where i was selected as a tech engineer and um, uh, our client is polo alto and uh, like knowing polo alto which is kind of leading right now in the market in the security part so it was very and also taking the suggestions from our trainers itself from the institute itself where i can join and all because I actually was selected at two places and in uh, move it as well as well as there in bangalore itself in ntt but i was selected as a like uh, as a network engineer so i took some suggestions where i should go and uh, which is the best path for my uh, future career growth and all so uh, here it is simple like where uh, uh, the profile is tech and uh, we are working on palo alto projects the clients and all and uh, it is a pure animal l1 uh, level support where we are giving telephonic uh, email chat support to the clients troubleshooting the issues related to like uh, the firewall itself palo alto firewall So, any last words for your trainers and team networkers home? I would like to like uh, thank because uh, I I was not able to personally come to the institute because uh, the joining date they gave me it was very quick. I had to like join in one or two days, so I did. It was I was not able to come to the institute itself. So, um, I would like to thank the trainers, especially Ajay sir and uh, Sushil sir, and also the management part from uh, like. Amit sir, especially like he guided me so much because most of the modules I completed with those two to three trainers. So special thanks to you because it is because of you that uh, I am right now here, right? Um, because of your guidance and all, and also to the institute itself, uh, very transparent. The, like in institute, I like the transparency of the institute and all. If you has kind of any issues, you can directly go to the management and all, and you will get it fixed. And I think special thanks to Amit sir, Ajay sir, and Sushil sir. for guiding me out thank you so much sir that's great so it was really nice talking to you and i hope the people who are watching your video are really motivated right now and once again thank you for joining us on behalf of entire networker som team i wish you all the best for your future thank you so much for having me so this was another episode of voices of victory full of motivation and energy and i hope this motivates you and next time when i make an episode 
I see you guys sitting in front of me. That's all for this episode. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye-bye.